Hello. Yeah, today I just thought maybe I'd just show some people that might not be aware of how to create an Instagram post using the Graph API. Uh, the way you go about it is you can head to the documentation just to browse through some of the stuff that you need. So if you go to Meta for Developers, you can go to the docs and then there is specific content for the Instagram API. And yeah, you can just directly go to Instagram API guides content publishing. Uh, there are a few things that you need. You need an app. So for that, you can go to apps. Uh, so you can go to apps, create a new app, and then go through the various things that you need. I think you need like other, uh, but yeah, you, once you create an app, uh, you should be able to, at least when you go to the Graph Explorer. So if you go to the Graph Explorer, you can pick a meta app that you want. Uh, and then also you need a user token. Uh, so that will be attached to your Facebook user, obviously, and then give it permission. So if you go to the content publishing, there are a set of permissions that you need. Uh, so just make sure that all these missions are there. Uh, so if you go to the Graph Explorer, just pick all the permissions that are needed. Here I have a little bit more than I need to, uh, but yeah, I can just make sure that the ads management business instagram whatever is already there and then the other piece is uh yeah once you have all those missions you can just generate a new token and then you can uh, test out the default um the default api which is just me uh just just like this and then if you call that it'll yeah just brings success you can also add attributes parameters just read the docs and what you can pass through and it'll tell you whether or not you have permission or if there is any errors whatsoever uh, how do i go back to that never mind the other piece that you might need is the obviously you need a facebook page and a, an instagram page so for you to do that, you can go to the Facebook business management. Uh, so it's a little bit convoluted. Uh, so let's see. So I can go maybe to my Facebook. Yeah, so let's say this is your Facebook. You can go to Matter Business Suite. And then in here, just the home page, it will tell you whether or not your Facebook page is connected to an Instagram. Just make sure that you're connected to Instagram. That's one of the requirements you have to have. The other piece is you need an ID and the way you will get this ID, you have to check for business assets. And that's, I think, yeah, so for the business assets, you can go to setting, get there and then business assets. And then you can see there is uh, an Instagram account. And then from here, you can grab the Instagram ID. And then after you have that ID, you can go to open graph, insert the ID there, uh, slash media. And then the one of the parameters, if you go to content publishing for that, this is the you know API, upload media and create media containers. So you just need that ID and slash media. So this will create a container it will not necessarily publish the, the image. Uh, so first step, we're gonna create this. So I've already created this once, but let me try it again. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I'll create that. It returns an ID. So this ID is actually an ID of a container. And uh, let me save that somewhere. And the second step is to create a post to media publish. So same Instagram ID, uh, but we have to pass this creation ID parameter 
Uh, so I'll just grab this endpoint, go back to the Graph Explorer, you publish, and then I have to change the parameters. Uh, in fact, it doesn't matter if I have an, an, an additional parameter. I don't think that should be an issue. Uh, just passing the ID of the container. So that's the key. And then with this ID, I didn't mean to press it. I can't go back. Oh, I can go back. Yeah, so you can, you can just ignore this. Let's just remove it just to avoid confusions. And then there's a creation ID, which is the media publish. Yeah, so according to the docs, that should work. So we submit that. Creation ID, what did I type? Okay, I can spell. There we go. We submit that. Okay, it returns an ID, so I don't know what that ID is. So we go back, it returns an IG media ID. Okay, does it mean that it's already submitted? Uh, then I'll go to my Instagram and look at that. I have a post that has just been published and this is the image that I just published. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions.